Happy Thursday, Quakes. Welcome to our weekly show of Quaker television. The 2018 Fall Homecoming Queen, Ellie Davidson, was able to sit down with us this week with some exclusive answers about some frequently asked questions. We are also able to talk to a couple of the members from the ten girls' tennis team. And last but not least, we talked to some members of the German club about their carnation sale. All of that and more on episode five of Quaker Television, and it starts right now. Seniors, check in the guidance office for current scholarships. Attention all junior high kids. The junior high's annual Halloween dance has been moved to Friday, October 26th in the auditorium. It is from 5 to 7 p.m. The admission for this spooktacular night is $3. Snacks will also be available for purchase. Some of the events taking place include a costume contest, guessing game, and a dance-off. Prizes will be awarded to the winners. Oh man, it sounds like a great time. The German Club will be selling carnations for Sweetest Day for a dollar each. Flowers will be sold during all lunch periods this week and delivered on Friday, October 19th. Show that special someone how you feel for Sweetest Day by buying them a beautiful carnation. Our own Jaden Hamilton sat down with Ellie Davidson to see what it's like being the fall homecoming queen. It was a good experience just being with the group of girls and even the guys were fun to be with too. Um, just making sure I had everything ready and going to look for like the outfit and everything. I mean, I'm like excited, but I still feel pretty normal, like, I, I don't know. Um, probably just seeing everyone and dancing. It was fun because getting dressed up and everything is fun to me, and just being with everyone there was fun. For QTV, I'm Jaden Hamilton. Order your 2018-2019 yearbook before October 12th and save $11. Order online before the deadline for $64. Quote of the week, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. As of this week, in the lead for box tops, we have Miss Hamilton in first place with 160, Mrs. Clemens second place with 132, Mrs. Jesco third place with 109, and Mrs. Emmerich fourth place with 93. Only a few more weeks left to win. You guys can do this. Alyssa Bricker was able to talk to members of our very own German club to get some information about the carnation sale they had. Um, there's quite a variety of things that we do from the German club and I like having the opportunity to see students outside of the classroom and work with them a little bit on extra things and we have different celebrations and cultural events and um, yeah I just think it gives a lot of variety to German class and German club. I like the German club because it's fun and interactive and there's a lot of food and trips we go on and I just like Frau Schank in German class too. Um, I like going on trips and like being part of the group, we all get along, it's fun. Red is for love, white is for a secret admirer, and pink is for friendship. The money from the carnation sale goes to German club. I like being able to see how my students grow from their first year to their fourth year if they decide to stay that long. Um, and I also enjoy having the different levels because I have squirrely little freshmen, but I also have um, some seniors who tend to be a little bit more mature, which is nice to have throughout the day. Doing very well. Um, it's been a pretty smooth transition into a new district and meeting all my new students, but I'm really enjoying it. For Quaker Television, I'm Melissa Bricker. College Credit Plus Information Nights will be held for college-ready grades 7 through 12 
students interested in learning about free college credits while still in high school. The dates are October 18th at YSU, October 22nd at Hiram College, November 1st at Kent Salem Campus, November 19th at Niles McKinley High School, and December 3rd at Trumbull Career and Technical Center. For more information on the times, stop in the guidance office or check your Google Classroom. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes meets every Monday at 7.15 a.m. in Mrs. McClarity's room. FCA is open to all junior high and high school students. See you there. It's always a great way to start your morning. Blaze Chapin had the availability to talk to a couple tennis players from the girls team and ask them some questions. Pretty good. I mean, we worked really hard, so that was great. Yeah, I think we did good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, personally, I feel like I could have done better, but oh, as a team, overall, we did pretty Yeah, good. we did. Doubles were really good this year. Yeah. Um, we lost, but we had some really good competition and played well. Um, we had fun. The doubles, second doubles did really well. They progressed on past their first match. Oh yeah. I did not. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> she was um, awful. I'm I think she was I think it, she was it's nice having a young coach. It's and really a female. Nice. Females yeah, are a awesome. female coach. It was really fun. We could relate with her and she's she was, actually really good. Yeah, she's a great player. Um, I think it's going to be really good. As long as we keep playing in the off season, we're gonna do great. Um, probably Sam and Elena are in my like top. How many girls are on our team? Like fourteen. They're in my top fourteen. Um, but I'm definitely gonna miss everybody. I love Katie with my whole heart, and Regan, and every other person on my team. Lainey makes me laugh all the time. I'm honestly going to miss everyone. For Quaker TV, I'm Blaze Chafin. Attention students, grades 9 through 12. Salem Swim is hosting an informational meeting for any athlete interested in joining the Salem Swim team on Wednesday, October 17th at 6 p.m. in Mrs. Clemens' room 206. If you're interested in swimming competitively, stop, in, stop by and get some information. Financial assistance is available. If you cannot make the meeting, but are interested, see Mrs. Clemens. There will be a financial aid session on Tuesday, October 16th for all seniors at 2 p.m. in the auditorium. Then at 6 p.m. Tuesday evening, there will be a financial aid session for all juniors and seniors, along with their parents in the auditorium. Our varsity football team will be traveling to Minerva this Friday to play the Lions. Student tickets are available in the athletic department tomorrow and only because there is no school Friday. Student tickets are also there to be purchased at Quaker Village both tomorrow and Friday. It's going to be a pink out. That's all of your announcements for today. For Quaker TV, I'm Mac. And I'm Steven. Have, Have a, great a great weekend, weekend Quakes! Quakes.